Welcome back to I Did This Instead of Killing Myself. Uh, hello, um, Stamp Comedy Podcast based in Astoria, New York. It's the week of, what is it? January 16th, 2023. This is on a Tuesday. Sorry, it's late, y'all, for uh, people who listen on the regular. Uh, yeah, I was at a striker, not striker, not my employer. My employer. I was at a meeting. <laughs> my my meeting and, and my flight home from Arizona got uh got canceled. I hate United Airlines, dude. I don't want to throw shade, but like it doesn't matter. I guess not that many people follow to like have it be really bad for United, but dude, like the flight out of Arizona was canceled. They had some issue with like a bunch of planes, and the weather was bad. And I slept on the floor in Chicago. Feel bad for me. I'm so. Yeah, I'm exhausted. But dude, I am so committed to content that I had to get this episode out a day late. Um, so yeah, appreciate that. Appreciate you guys listening. Hope you're having a good Tuesday morning. Hope you had a good MLK day. Uh, but we have a really good episode for you today. I'm excited to be back in New York. Um, this guest today, he's one of like um, one of my favorite new friends in, in comedy here. He's such a nice dude. Um, so funny. He's like goofy. He's goofy. He's like kind of got this dry way of talking and so likable. And then he'll just hit you with like these really, this really funny. I don't know who he reminds me of, but like a super dry delivery. Goofy the cartoon? No, I don't know. But you'll see. He's so funny. Our guest today, Alden Skeetis. And also bonus guest, Alexis uh, Ramirez, my roommate. So it's the three of us on this interview. We had a great time, the three of us. Um, some facts about Alden. Uh, he's Greek. Uh, not Scandinavian. He's Greek. Uh, he from Boston or grew up about 30 minutes outside of Boston, uh, but he doesn't have the accent, so you wouldn't be able to tell. He lived next to Salem, where they had the witch trials. Um, I tried to get an about me from Alden, so I stole some stuff from his LinkedIn. So here's his LinkedIn stats. Alden, he's been doing comedy for, I think, over five years. Um, he went to Ithaca College, majored in television and radio at the Roy H. Park of Communications. He's skilled in sketch comedy. Adobe Premiere Pro video editing, which is what I use to edit this podcast. It's a good program. Uh, comedy writing, cinematography, acting, field production, writing for comedy. Um, his sketch comedy is awesome, too. you got to follow his Instagram. Um, it's linked below. Check him out. He does sketches. Alexis and I are in a couple of little sketches we did with a crazy tour guide one. But he puts out sketches all the time, and it, they're, they're so great. Um and this was a fun interview. Alexis and I had come up with a bunch of questions that are so random, and we hit Alden with a bunch of questions. Uh, one, the opening question that Alden actually brought is, "Hey, if you were famous and attractive, would you would you date a a famous person who's also um, attractive and famous, or would you date a normal person, a normie?" Um, good question. What would you do if you were famous? Had your pick of anyone? Would you would you try and date another famous person? Um, what else? Alexis asked him what his favorite milk is. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that's a good question. Uh, we talk a little bit about past drug experience. This is all in the past, so don't cancel us. But uh, Alden talked about an experience on the drug salvia. Pretty crazy. Um, and uh, yeah, Alden's actually a really nice guy. He brought a gift to the show. He brought us milk chocolate. This is courtesy of Alden. I want to eat it. It's gluten free, thirty three percent cocoa. But yeah, Alden brought this. I want to eat it, but I also don't because I like to save it. That he, it's such a nice little gift for the podcast. But anyway, it was a super fun interview. A uh, little bit of a change up with the three of us and all the questions. But yeah, I had a good time. So uh, I hope you enjoy this interview. Um, not going to shout out the local shows. We do have more shows coming at Toodles and French. Alexis did another show this past week. I think we'll have another show two weeks from now. Um, but yeah, thanks for supporting uh, the uh, Toodles and French comedy show. We're branding it Only Friends. That's our new comedy show. So every Saturday at 10 o'clock or every other Saturday at 10 o'clock, there's going to be a show. Uh, more to come there. Um, and then also Greenville, South Carolina. If you're listening down there, keep supporting Greenville SC Comedy. Miss you guys. Follow Greenville SC Comedy on Instagram for details about local shows. They're great. 
All right, that's it for the intro. Hope you guys have a great week, and I hope you enjoyed my interview. Wait, 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 hold on. The Packers won. Go Pack. Go Pack, go. We're going to the Super Bowl. All you need is love, baby. All right, I forgot to do a Packers shout-out. But anyway, that's it. Hope you guys have a great week, and I hope you enjoy my interview with Alden Skeetis and Alexis Ramirez. Here it is. <laughs> Hello. Oh, my God. Welcome back to the show. It's the show. <laughs> it's the show. Oh, yeah. Alden Skeetis. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm <laughs> waiting for my cue. <laughs> Ask a question. <clears throat> What? Oh, we didn't even I'm do the kidding. intro. I'm just kidding. Yeah, no, we didn't do the intro. I Welcome had, to the oh, show, thank you. Alden. How's it going? Good, good. I was thinking of something today I think could start off the podcast. Oh, you got material to open? Yeah. I was Sweet. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, so let's say if you're like, uh, let's say you're like like Pete Davidson or Harry Styles or like what, like the- If I am? Timothy Chalamet? Or yeah. Like? Or, well- I was thinking. Well, there's also we can do a girl version too. So you're well. Let's say you're like the young famous guy. Every like you can get any girl. You're the young famous girl can get any guy. Okay. I was thinking. So like, Pete Davidson like goes for Kim Kardashian and stuff. But I don't know. Would you go for another very famous, attractive person, or or go for like a not famous? But very attractive person, like a nobody that's a ten. Yeah, or... that's what I would do. I think, but yeah, it was. Yeah, good question. Well, because you basically can r- and do, n- right? Oh, that's a compliment. Really? <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> I guess uh, so. In this oh. scenario, I'm like, I'm hey, like Taylor. Anna Taylor Joy, kinda. I don't know who that is. Me neither. She's like the girl from uh, Queen's Gambit. Oh yeah. 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 Rod, 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 yeah. So yes. so that if I'm Anna Taylor Joy, am I going example. for like Harry I, Styles I'm or am I going for uh Har- Harry from down the block? <laughs> yeah. A Harry guy. I think uh Pizza Boy? super attractive Harry from down or like yeah, great guy Harry from down the block but not famous. Yeah, I think not famous. I don't really like famous people. Hmm. Yeah. I'm kind of anti-fame. <laughs> Dude, okay, I'm a fame slut, dude. I, <laughs> oh, you, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, yeah. okay. Hmm. He's also a real slut. It's hard, though. Because <laughs> I'm, al- I'm also old. So all the famous girls that you have crushes on are kind of aging out, you know? Because I would have said, what's the name of the girl from The Notebook? Uh, Ryan Gosling opposite. I know, I know Ryan Gosling's name. Steelberg. Spielberg. No. That's I Steve. know her name. <laughs> Steven What's her Spielberg. Name? <laughs> <laughs> Steven Spielberg. Uh, uh, I'll just say Scarlett Johansson. Okay. Because Colin <laughs> Joe's got her somehow. That's amazing. That that oh, was, yeah. Yeah, the SNL guy. Right. Oh, she would. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Scarlett Joe has a lot of sex appeal. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I guess yeah, she In be this cool. scenario though, we're also famous. You're assuming I'm a, we're also famous. Yeah, I'm yeah. Well yeah, you're yeah, very famous. Wait, mm. who's your fame guy? Who are you? Oh, I don't I don't know. Well, I was thinking like I wouldn't want to be like how Pete dated Kim Kardashian. That just yeah. seemed like terrible. Yeah. yeah. This reading all that. It sure. just didn't seem like It's the almost move. like they're trying to like like create more clout around their names together create like a, a super couple vibe yeah seems like a lot of trouble i, I think beyonce and jay-z that's the only couple that i think it worked out for yeah that's a good yeah one. like they were they at least use their shit to make more albums like yeah. four for four and lemonade yeah right and they're like both badass about it it's not really that cringy uh either one of them right they mm. worked through it i think i might i don't know i think i might try and find like a really young Beautiful unknown. Yeah. Yeah. Why like really a, young? How you know <laughs> Oh yeah. Yeah, I missed that. Yeah. <laughs> you did say young. A <laughs> lot of <laughs> emphasis on really. Like twenty like twenty four? You know? Just graduated. Like smart, young, fun. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. 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 You would go unknown right. too? Would you go like girl next door or would you go super hot? Uh what well, Wait, is that different? Well, well, girl or? next door, I think he girl means like door, a or six. Like, yeah. Oh, I mean, 
I'd be like super hot on known if I had any yeah, options. I see. If I, I was see. like the We're famous picking guy with between option. Hot and hot, not yeah, yeah, hot and not. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because like Olivia Rodrigo, I guess her boyfriend's like a famous actor guy. Okay. So mm-hmm. they went that. But I listened to her for the first time two days ago because so she like won the Grammy for best song. I was like, I should hear this song. Yeah. And fucking great. It was yes, great. dude. Vampire. She's... Oh. oh, how does it go? Yeah. Very. Can you sing it? It's like face fucker. <laughs> 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 That's not the line I know. I forget. <laughs> but, yeah. I don't. Thi- I I don't know that song, but she has this song. Uh, I can't remember it, but Olivia Rodrigo is Great. very very talented, and she yeah. came up like on social media or some shit. I think. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Mm. Cause yeah, that was. New. I mean, yeah, Beyonce. I've like I've listened to a lot. Well, I mean, just like a, a girl younger than me, yeah, musician. I haven't been a fan of in my life before. Yeah. And this I've is never like, found oh, Beyonce that, a- that attractive. <laughs> I, uh, she's she's a wait 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 no, maybe, maybe it's Rihanna I'm thinking of maybe it's Rihanna oh, you I, did say that fair. yeah I had said that before that's wild that you Beyonce don't think... actually no Beyonce's hot Rihanna that's the one she was using the Super Bowl all pregnant and stuff and I was like all right this is great but uh, not really doing it I like you don't her love and <laughs> this and this is the end oh you know, yeah Michael oh, yeah. Sarah yeah, 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 yeah. she slaps him <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah and Mindy Kaling's like if I don't fuck Michael Sarah tonight I'm gonna kill myself <laughs> <laughs> and he's, she's like yeah. Yeah. pale skinny coked out of his mind probably got like, a huge cock yeah <laughs> <laughs> yes. so good <laughs> Alden Skeetis is that uh, Scandinavian Greek Greek Hell yeah. yeah. Tight. So we're in Astoria. We're in Astoria. Yeah, oh, yeah. In here. Greek town. Totally. Yeah. 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 Good Greek food here. Yeah. Bad Greek people. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite Uh-oh. Greek food? Uh, I like spinach pie. Hell yeah. Is that like yeah. Spanakopita? Yeah, similar. Fuck yeah. 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 Yeah, that stuff's great. Alexis, yeah. ask a question. I like how that's, yeah, that's awesome. Oh, I love Dude, questions. these are the most <laughs> random questions. They're terrible, <laughs> but we thought of them like five minutes before you got here. What's your favorite milk? <laughs> uh, that was Alexis's. <laughs> I didn't care about your favorite milk. I feel like chocolate milk. I mean, Ooh. That, that, like 2% chocolate. Yeah. 2% chocolate. Uh, Hell yeah. But yeah, so yeah. Cho- Nesquik? Yeah, Nesquik's good. Yeah, chocolate milk every once in a while is like, oh my God, so good. Yes. Do you get yeah. it when you go to like a diner or you like chocolate milk at home? Uh, Like, yeah, at home, rarely. But when I do do it, it's awesome. Haha, <laughs> you said do do. When I <laughs> do do. <laughs> do do like chocolate milk. <laughs> uh, when I want do do. Okay. <laughs> 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 do you like eggnog? Do you uh yeah, I was Dude. uh I didn't have time. I was saying I should bring eggnog like oh. for the podcast. That would be Christmassy. Dude. Damn it. But but yeah. yeah. Why didn't you do Why that, man? You do that? <laughs> yeah, shouldn't yeah. have said it. <laughs> now I'm just thinking about eggnog. <laughs> <laughs> Eggnog's one that I like love but I always forget about. Like forget yeah. that it exists. It is a so lot. I think of it goes bad in like a week or something. And it's only seasonal. Yeah, it's all right. It's like getting chunky. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, it's yeah. like, yeah, it's so. I'd roll the dice on some eggnog, too. That's, that's, uh, I've never yeah. had eggnog. What? Oh. Yeah. It's very thick. It's all very creamy. Yeah. yeah. Would you say too thick? Or like. Nothing you're not used to. <laughs> I, like, this. Yeah, I, I knew yeah, a joke like had to come <laughs> when I said thick. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's uh, Anytime. Couldn't you think of it. <laughs> But it well yeah it is it is too th- like I can have like one glass yeah. every now and then yeah it's very it rich you need like almost like a shot glass portion of uh, eggnog to not is it supposed to be alcoholic though right mm. e- eggnog? often people yeah. put rum in it yeah okay so okay long, yeah mm-hmm. or like uh, lower it down with milk or less thicken it up or light un- it thicken un- it un- yes <laughs> <laughs> is that a word <laughs> yeah. yeah strain it or something. Um, do you want to ask the next one? (laughs) (laughs) Apparently this is my podcast. (laughs) Uh, So you're from Boston, right? (laughs) You wrote the question, is that Scandinavian? (laughs) 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 The answer, no. (laughs) 
So um, wait, Boston. You lived yeah. in Boston. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. why aren't you an asshole? Sorry, I mean mass hole. Brilliant writing. How about that? That's good. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> this is so bad. Okay. Well, that it mass hole comes from asshole. So yeah. 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 So yeah. I guess you didn't write it. I wrote it. <laughs> well, no, all right, I didn't mind. come up with mass hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that's what I'm saying. Yeah, uh, oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, I didn't come up with that. Yeah, I grew up like 30 minutes outside of Boston. Maybe that's why. Okay. And yeah, that yeah, uh, people in my town don't really have the accent and that. Yeah, when I did like did some comedy in Boston, that's when I met people with like the accent and like the hardcore Boston guys. Yeah. And I'm like, ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, but well, you're so nice. Yeah, I, so nice. Uh, yeah, really I don't nice. know. It's too nice. Like too nice. <laughs> yeah. It's all a plan. <laughs> <laughs> to sneak in here and steal all your Seinfeld merch. Yeah. Fuck Don't yeah. Steal it all, all. There's so uh, much. There's plenty to go around. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But yeah, I don't know. There were yeah, there were definitely mean people in my town, for sure. Uh also I live next to Salem, which is where witch trials happened. Mm. So that's a cool place. Mm. Yeah. Is there like a lot of like um, the tiktok witch girls there still or do they stay away from salem oh man there are witch girls i didn't is tiktok witch girl out rich know. girls no oh, witch witch <laughs> there aren't rich girls in salem a lot of witch girls if <laughs> <laughs> but there are witch girl like people who wear witch costumes year-round and random Halloween costumes year round. Fuck yes. Yeah, and like That's magic parlors and stuff, and you could buy uh, salvia. You know salvia. Yeah. Oh yeah. hell yeah. Salvia. <laughs> Have you ever taken salvia? <laughs> yeah, but uh, dude, I've yeah. never had it. That's the one that makes you hallucinate, right? Yeah, I was like way too young because it was <laughs> it was legal, and they we yeah. like put it in a bong and like. How old were the, you? I was like 17 or something. Oh, geez. Okay. But yeah, I like hadn't done anything like really at that point. <laughs> what happened? Did you see anything? <laughs> yeah, me and my friend Chris. And well, no, so like the plan was, so it's like we were at his house. We had to smoke on the outside porch. And then of course, and can't salvia up the place. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> can't hot <laughs> salvia. <laughs> so Is that salvia? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, but yeah, so you totally lose balance and stuff and like it's really quick. But yeah, so we're like, all right, we'll take the bong rip and then like run back into the living room and put on uh, the show Chowder. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Never seen it. Good funny cartoon. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Tight. And so it's like we like smoked it and then I like get up and like I can't make it. To, like I lose balance <laughs> too quick and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> and then it's how it was weird it was like it was, it was just so fucked up for like two minutes but we were just looking at each other like oh, i can't oh. <laughs> <laughs> and i was like trying to find a seat and then i would like no oh no the whole funny thing was i like sit down and my friend's like yelling at me and i'm like why are you yelling at me but he was yelling because i sat right on his like binder of stuff like okay. his school stuff yeah, yeah. and so I was like, why are you yelling? He's like, ah. And I'm like, why are you yelling at me? And he can't He's verbalize, like, that's my binder. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's so quick. But How for long? like the last, I like two 15? to five minutes or oh, something. Yeah, it's that's, pretty quick. We should do it. That's nothing. Yeah, How I would try. Yeah. Selfie is like K2, right? Yeah, I remember it not being super fun. It was just kind of like, oh, God. <laughs> but, Selfie is like yeah. taking too much Benadryl. It's like, do it in high school. Don't do it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like wanna, that. I want to do it. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't really Is it trippy. Legal now? I was back then, even. Mm. But yeah, it was like I, for the last like thirty seconds. I remember I was like, hold on, like I kind of figuring stuff out, and I was like trying to like balance myself, and then it just like sobered up. Yeah, and I, was, I was like it, was like, wait a minute. Oh, was it like uh, nauseating? Like you know when you spin in a circle kinda. as a kid and stuff, and like. Yeah, I remember seeing the TV screen and everything around it was blurry, but I could see the TV. Yeah. So it was like 
moving around. Yeah, stuff oh, was very. Oh gosh, that would make me like, oh, my stomach. Yeah. Salvia is like the whippets of weed. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Whippets are tight. <laughs> yeah, I never. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Whippets just made you feel dumb, in my opinion. You're like, Pfft. yeah. Then brain cells. Yeah. I, tried, <laughs> like, I didn't that's... know what they were exactly because a friend of mine was very into them. And uh, yeah. He was. He's like super. He like had a shoebox full of cartridges and stuff. And uh, Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's feel... big in the rave scene, too. Yeah. Also very short. Oh, yeah. Very short buzz. It's like 30 seconds or less. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I went to a Space Jesus concert one time and uh, all my friends got a uh, tank and we did like balloons before the concert. Nice. Tight. Yeah. But I mean, it doesn't last till you get to this concert. It was kind of like <laughs> pointless for like, us to do it before. <laughs> but yeah. Right over. <laughs> yeah. I saw Space Jesus. Coney Island. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I like... Fell asleep on the F train home and like slept. I was like the guy sleeping the whole way, like oh shit, like lying down on the <laughs> bench. Like that was the only time I was that guy, like lying down. I'm on glad the thing. Yeah. no one fucked with you. No, yeah, I was lucky. That's good. Yeah, yeah. It's not. But it's not good to fall asleep on the train. I've <laughs> I've learned that. <laughs> Don't do that. Did you get robbed or something? No, I heard about the one guy that got like stabbed when he oh. fell asleep on the train. Yeah, David. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not this David. <laughs> yeah, not I. David. I was happy to see his. It like looks better. Yeah, like his eye thing. Yeah, it's almost like it didn't happen. Who is yeah. this? Yeah, um, David da- Clash. Yeah, David Clash. Shout out David Clash. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Do I know him? So funny he, comedian. Yeah, he's funny. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. He fucked up his face. Yeah. Poor David Clash. Clash. Yeah. That's yeah. Like, but yeah, at first it was like, I was like, oh, that sucks. That's bad. And then it like healed up. And I'm like, oh, hell yeah. It looks Yeah, now he's got a sick, now. cool scar. Like, like yeah, yeah. Get ladies, be like, <laughs> lost tattoos. yeah, I lost a fight, but you should see the other guy. <laughs> Do women like scars? Do you like scars? Women love scars. Yeah. Yes. Visible yeah. scars. Sure. Inside scars were like, ew. <laughs> yeah. Ew, he's damaged. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any scars, Alden? I was thinking, I feel like it went away. I like fell. Uh, no, I think that's okay. It's not really. Oh, maybe it's the other arm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see serious. it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a cool scar. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. I have, uh, I have a puncture wound on my forehead. Do you see? Oh, uh, yeah, I do. It's a dent. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. We well, talked about it on the last episode. Oh, uh, then let's not mention it. <laughs> <laughs> you know how I got it? <laughs> Football, so that's it. Hell yeah. Um, do you like Alexis's fake nails from the Dollar Tree? <laughs> I I do actually. I uh, <laughs> no no lot. Uh, yeah, when I first saw when you, I yeah, I'm a it's fan. a manicure for poor people. It that's interesting. That's Dollar Tree. I mean, I got them as a gift, but I, I, I would mean. assume Dollar Tree. Uh, yeah, that was yeah. me. It was from Five Below. <laughs> that's a, <laughs> Same thing. I know. I prefer six and below. You know what I'm saying? Uh, six feet. Up. <laughs> yeah, there you go. But yeah, I I I felt a little bad earlier, so I was like, "What if I put these nails on, and then it's all good. Everything's good now." Have you ever had like like really long? Na- Can you like do like type and? Yeah, you gotta type with like this part. Ah. Yeah, it seems like a lot of work. And yeah, I don't know. How like we people with the that. really long and yeah. It's fun because of the sound though. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is cool. Isn't yeah. that great? Like cool. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. The people need to know. <laughs> you ever seen the dudes on the Guinness Book of World Records with the world's longest nails and they like go down to like the floor basically? Yeah. Talk about commitment to a record. I mean, that must have taken years. Years. Yeah, years and years. it starts like it starts going curling. up. Have yeah. You ever, have you ever tried to get a Guinness record or anything? Uh, Is that I think I tried the the me and my neighbor tried to do like the ping pong, uh, like hit it back and forth, but the longest. I, yeah, I think it's like millions. I don't think <laughs> <laughs> we came close at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, Alexis uh, did her nails to help with when she's down. I didn't know that. I thought you just got the nails. Is there anything you do, Alden, when you're in a bummed out mood to pick your spirits up? Honestly, like going out and well, 
Yeah, you can't find like a shitty open mic. Something does. So. But I, I don't know. <laughs> but like going out and uh, like seeing other comics, honestly. Yeah. On Monday, I was feeling really down and. And I was going to cancel every, oh, I was going to go to Comedy Mob and like key, for Kiwi's, uh, be his plus one and then yeah. Hell yeah. had Comedy Shop after. But I was going to like cancel everything, but then I got the Stand Up New York and then I was like totally distracted and felt better. Yeah. So like five friends of mine, I'm like, oh. This yeah. Is, yeah. Honestly, yes. Yeah, honestly, going out and seeing yeah. other comics is. Yeah. 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 That's the huge, yeah. It's uh, yeah, because I feel the same. If I'm down, I just want to curl up in a ball and like nap. That's like my, or eat a large pizza and like just, yeah, yeah, just knock <laughs> myself out. But you kind of feel bad after that anyway. And like if you force yourself, I don't know. I always feel I yeah feel good when I force myself to go out. Sometimes I feel like though, sitting in your room and just staring at the wall. Five hours time? of that, and then I'm back. <laughs> That's what you're doing. <laughs> That's what you're doing in there. Yeah, he <laughs> thought I was masturbating. No, I'm looking at the polar bears on my wall. Sometimes it'll just be silent, and you're in there, and the lights on, and I'm like, "What? What's you do it? <laughs> Staring at the wall. <laughs> <laughs> the lights on. <laughs> no <laughs> noise. Yeah, no <laughs> noise. <laughs> what? You've never passed out with the lights on? Mm, when I drank, yeah. But, uh, you don't need alcohol to pass <laughs> out with the lights on. <laughs> yeah. It's Alexis's motto. <laughs> you ever passed out with all of these lights on? No. <laughs> impossible. It's too bright in here. Yeah. He can't. Surface of the sun. <laughs> yes. Um, oh, I have a good one. How long is your penis? <laughs> <laughs> we wrote that I, one down. <laughs> I typed it. She, I was transcribing. Alexis, long ago. I tried to write a bit about this that never went anywhere. <laughs> okay. I always kind of <laughs> liked it. Okay. <laughs> the fact that, yeah, you're asked that question, but it changes. Right. Yeah, so the size changes. Yeah. You know, based on situ- and then Mood. I, The joke is like I... I forget the examples, but I just have a list of tags, like one inch for this situation, six for this situation, you know. One inch if one she's inch? <laughs> uh, <laughs> if she's asking point blank. <laughs> <laughs> six if she <laughs> beats around the bush. <laughs> but it That was a fake question. I don't, yeah. You don't have to disclose <laughs> your penis size. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's normal. Hell yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy for you. Oh, thank you. This is, a, this is an Alexis question. Which sibling do you hate the most and why? I have one sibling, so I guess. I guess, <laughs> I guess it's that one. <laughs> oh, my yeah. gosh. Guess my sister. Your sister? <laughs> Dude, Older that's... sister. Uh, um, yeah. Oh, I have cool. a, I have two cousins and I definitely have a favorite. Hell oh. yeah. Yeah. The younger one for sure. Okay. Hell yeah. Yeah. Why? Why do you like the younger one? Um, he's, be- yeah. The older one's like, a, like a, uh, he just like, well, he thinks he knows everything. Like he doesn't do shit. Mm. And he just <laughs> is like, <laughs> well, yeah, he's, well, yeah. Like, How old is he? It's 18 now. Oh, dude, then, I hate 18 year olds. Yeah. Yeah. This guy sounds like a real asshole. And yeah, he just like <laughs> is on his phone alone at family stuff. Ugh. And the 15 year old is like baking with us and like playing cards with us. And yeah. The, yeah. 15 year olds. Super. He's awesome. Okay. Yeah. But the 18 year olds. Just a piece of shit, huh? <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah, a, it's just a horrible. He's what? <laughs> Whack. Bla- whack. Oh, I thought you said Oh, whack. no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, he's from Boston? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <No. laughs> yeah. Doesn't have. We don't have that there. <laughs> this is the studio. R.I.P. Um, especially the, yeah, like the town they live in outside of Boston. The definitely no black people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Boston Not, has some, though. Yeah, Boston does. Yeah. And where I grew up does, but... Where they live, definitely Few not. Few and far between. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we used to ask, that's such a mean question to ask, but uh, when we were in football in uh, Hillsdale, we would ask hazing questions. And one time we asked a kid, uh, 
if you had to kill your mom or your dad, which would you choose and why? And he said, well, my mom's dead, so I guess my dad. <laughs> Damn. Oh, man. He doesn't even want one parent. <laughs> <laughs> and we all the upper class were like, oh, dude, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, Tucker Carlson recently said aliens are real. Are you also a Republican? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, do you have any commentary on the aliens? This is true. Tucker Carlson on Twitter or X is like going really weird now. He said he's seen some insider info and he's not even comfortable sharing it with his wife because it's like so dark and maybe spiritual. And I'm sure he's aliens. not comfortable sharing many things with his wife, Tucker Carlson. <laughs> right. We don't. Republicans yeah. don't. <laughs> you're talking Honey, about. get back in the baking room. <laughs> you're doing great. Yeah. I. Uh, what? Yeah. I wonder what the aliens are like i mean are they like dangerous is that why do you think they're real or? number one i mean he could be full I, of shit i don't even know so is this like a, a species from another planet that like came here and they are like pretty smart yeah i think the assumption would have to be yeah. they are uh farther ahead than us at to least even tech- be here like yeah. by definition, because they'd have to travel through a lot of space. Yeah, and uh, yeah, maybe in touch with interdimensional stuff. And when it comes to interdimensional stuff, it could be energies, which is kind of like an interesting idea. Uh, um, so not something you can see necessarily. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. yeah I could see that being real. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, anything like more advanced than us, I'd say keep away. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go. Humans you know. on top. Yeah, is, yeah. Your, yeah. is your platform? Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'd say. Real America first guy. Oh yeah. <laughs> I hate aliens. USA. Of all forms. <laughs> yeah. Dude, aliens are but, definitely real though. Yeah, there's got to be something. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I do. I mean. Yeah, I believe in like like spiritual type like I don't know uh, stuff Angels? in or li- like like ghosts and like yes. uh, spirits and yeah or like like your soul stays after you die. Yeah, and stuff. tight, yeah. tight. I'm all for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really do hope that's true. I hope that like whatever is like our soul or the our consciousness. I hope mm. that. You want to watch your grandkids fuck? Yeah, basically that's why. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <I just> wanna. <laughs> Do you guys ever think about Thanks. that, like when you're having sex, that like your grandma can see it? No. Oh no. Like, or any what? of your dead relatives? <laughs> I mean, that's what you think about during. Yeah, that's why I don't have a lot of sex. All the I, <laughs> <laughs> I let the other person know. I'm like, my grandma can see us right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I've never thought that. <laughs> Damn, uh, just what do you think about during sex? I, I yeah, I was thinking. I mean, it is. I do have the thought of well, it's like, like is like, like like timing and stuff. Like, am I doing well? Am like, is this going too long? Is it, like, I do have like those thoughts a lot. Like uh, I have the thoughts of like this is great and the thoughts of is this too long and should I switch something up? Should too I? Long. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. And just to yeah. make everything clear, you eat pussy, right? Yeah. He doesn't. Yeah, I do. Uh. <laughs> 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 who's who's truth? Who's <laughs> Who's telling the truth? Uh, <laughs> let's let's debate <laughs> this actually, out, David. <laughs> that was a yeah, I do kind of right? yeah. like a fake yeah. yeah. I yeah yeah, I've done it. I you know I I like it. It's good. Um, I, mm. I, I don't eat it. I lick it I softly. W- <laughs> yes, that's right. Eating <laughs> there it. There you go. Yeah, eating. Who eats? That's chewing it down. I don't Who would teeth? want? <laughs> 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 I don't think either of you know how to eat pussy I based on this conversation. <laughs> I kiss it. Oh <laughs> what a pussy. I want to, yeah, kind of defend but myself, you know. I uh, I was going to be a virgin forever. So, you know, do you familiar with the Christian kids, what they do? Um, oh. They'll do everything except intercourse. 
Uh oh yeah I'm uh, yeah yeah I, I've heard of that well, yeah. Christians can't have sex yeah I'm aware <laughs> so yeah. but you'll, you'll <laughs> go down and do that and uh, so my point yeah. was I, I I stayed a virgin from you know seventeen to twenty five so like I did a lot of that so like why do I have to continue Oh okay you know and Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you've done it a lot, <laughs> and you're done. I I still I like put it. it. My time. I, st- I do. I like the when she you can feel she likes it. And she or like she's moving because yeah. she likes it, and then like she like goes up like that. Because yes, yeah. that's yeah. A, that's the oh, move. They do that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 she didn't know what he said. That's what they do when they like and stuff. Or like <laughs> they squeeze your head with their legs together. Yes, that's yeah. a that's a move. Oh, they like put your head in a vice group. Yeah. Yeah, I like. Yeah, a I like that. Yeah. I didn't know. Wow. It's like a, like a weird power thing. Like I own you, bitch. The. <laughs> that's another thing. Or oh. <laughs> you go. You go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've never. You're the expert. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been into the like. Well, I, it's like the whole. Seems like some guys like when she. Is not liking it, which is wild. Like yeah, I never what do you mean understood. When she's not liking doing that, or just when sex when that? like when like it's like the guy is like I have all the power and she's like helpless or whatever. Yeah, like, like total dom. Stuff. Yeah, I never really understood that or was yeah mm. I have or like a power thing. Yeah, I like yeah, yeah I like when yeah when she moans and like likes it a lot. I like that totally. Makes Feminist. me like it more. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> no, 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 cool guy. But <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think BDSM is like weird because it's like it's a bunch of power dynamics. But, but some girls like to be submissive, right? Yeah, I'm sure they so exist. So isn't it still like you know? Yeah, it's just consensual? different types of people. Different yeah. strokes, different folks. Yeah. 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 But if the woman's not like enjoying it. A lot of guys are, just a, in my experience at least, uh, some of them don't care. And so then it's like the sex is bad because... They're not liking it at all? Wouldn't they say like something? What do you mean? Like, I don't like this? I've never had sex before. Oh. <laughs> 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 so when the girl... <laughs> you guys tell me <laughs> so, Oh, I, I think that... That's up to her to answer. Or like, well, uh, if the girl says, I don't like this. Oh, well, yeah. Because yeah, there's this. There's like a pressure. Well, there's a probably yeah, yeah. gray area of like, you don't really love it, but you're like, whatever, I'll put up with it. Yeah. Is that kind of this is the vibe? Yeah, there's kind of like a, I don't know. For a long time, I just, I'd be like, well, I'm not even here. <laughs> 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 uh, well, <laughs> well, I'm, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> this isn't even happening to me. Yeah, you know? I'm outside of my body. <laughs> oh my yeah, god, that's, that's not right. good. Yeah, not good. Mm. Yeah, but not anymore. Yeah. That's good. So now you now I'm just like ah, this sucks. Stop. <laughs> 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 Which yo, is yo, also yo, yo, not. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I gotta funny. find a mid <laughs> in between of like, all right, this is fine. Yeah. Keep keep on keep at it. Yeah, keep <laughs> Trying. <laughs> We're going to get there. <laughs> Will you put up with it if you could tell he's doing his best? I don't know. I haven't had sex in a while since Pizza Boy. So Jesus. Okay. I had sex with four guys named Alex. Is that a red flag? Uh, in a row? It was or? the past four, I think. I, I think that's just a coincidence, but yeah. that's interesting. I don't yeah. think that's a red flag, but that's it is interesting. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's have you ever had that where a lot of girls in your life showed up with the same uh, sounding name? Uh, no, I don't think so. No, okay. Yeah, I have. Okay. Madeline, the name Madeline or Maddie or yeah, uh, there's been like a lot where like big numerology uh, big, guy, big, uh, yeah, <laughs> big coincidence guy. Um, you know numbers. Whatever. <laughs> Are there any conspiracy theories that you really believe? Besides uh, all of them? Besides <laughs> all of them? Yeah. Uh, besides I've the Holocaust being fake? <laughs> yes. That's a given. That's, I mean, that's a given. That's a classic. That's a classic. <laughs> yeah, the smokestacks, you know. Yeah. Um, Birkenau. 
I, yeah, there's a Louis joke. I think it's newer about the. It's like, like the some of the thing, like slavery or way back, like you know, people were like, oh, it was the times, but the Holocaust. You know, no one's like, oh, it was the times. Like it was not the times. <laughs> it was not. <laughs> But um, I think the moon landing is possible because so, yeah, I'm yeah, because they were yeah, the U.S. and Russia were trying to race to get there first, yeah. and right. So then, there was motivation for the crime. Yeah, to fake it. Yeah, yeah, and then, and that uh, flag it doesn't uh, move. Yeah, that's and, a myth. I know that one. Oh. They like, a, I, I looked that one up. Apparently, they starched the flag because there's no atmosphere in space, so there'd be no wind. So they like stiffened it up with like something putty oh uh, they like okay. yeah but the video looked I, yeah it looked like like a green screen movie set maybe that is what it looks like but just kind of the yeah like if they created the moon in the mm-hmm. 60s in a movie and it's just the slow jumping yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah yes uh there's one video that i saw that like really made me think it wasn't real because it was like a uh, a faraway shot of the lunar lander taking back off after they were on the surface of the moon, and it was like kind of far away, and it just it just went up, and I was like, "That's insane to me!" Like how it had to go up and dock with a random thing that was just orbiting. Like they had to figure all that out on the moon to get back. Oh. Like just getting back alone makes me think like that's so crazy that the math like they're basing it on the math working out in the physics and stuff yeah you know what i mean like i don't know for some reason that visual of like an explosion and a rocket booster um and it's just like this tiny little speck it had to dock with i think you guys are suckers for believing in space 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 isn't isn't real dude (laughs) (laughs) all of space is (laughs) not okay (laughs) yeah no i don't know Mm. i feel like most of the stuff the government signs off on is probably like half true Mm. Mm. yeah they're definitely hiding stuff for sure i mean that's like absolutely yeah the higher up yeah aliens though and what tucker carlson said i think it'd be weird if the aliens came like what i kind of hope they would come to do would be to like wake people up to the other dimensions slowly in steps and that's what i think would be really cool like uh like the knowing yeah 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 yeah. like people you know what i mean like since covid like i feel this is my conspiracy theory of like that's why i asked the question because i want to say this (laughs) 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 but i feel like there's been massive societal disruption since trump was elected and then and like that was like crazy and then covid was like massive disruption to like what everybody considered to be normal and just like reality and like now everything's like the craziest shit could happen um yeah and nobody's surprised so it's like you're breaking up the understanding of reality and then um people are given less of a fuck too like more people are just doing whatever you know like how old are you 26 26 yeah yeah sorry we're young are you gen z (laughs) Yeah. yeah. Holy shit. Fuck I'm old yeah. as fuck. I feel like I'm still Gen Z, but I'm not. <laughs> I want to be Gen Z. But I feel like Gen Z. If you fuck you enough know, Gen Z girls, maybe. <laughs> You'll become Gen Z. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but what do it wait? So are like it always seems like it's like they're hiding aliens in a place that only certain people can see. Is that like Tucker Carlson or people they're just like, All right, you can see the yeah. the place now well i always think or comedy spiritual <laughs> sorry bring it back bring it back to it this is a comedy podcast, yeah, a comedy know, podcast. You know. but you know when like you're getting uh you know a really good laugh in that moment there's like a there's like energy in the room or like when you're like yeah in love with the person i haven't felt this in a while but you feel like butterflies <laughs> and, and uh, or like just a really good like just a really good in sync moment and you're there's love or like a connection with someone like there could be something going on scientifically of that connection and love and stuff oh and I, could and just be like you go in a room and there's just like the ultimate orgasm yes or like you yes. just it's like it's not gonna 
be what you think aliens is but mm -hmm. you go in this room and they're like whoa <laughs> it's the best we're, feeling ever or <laughs> aliens are just oh, beings yeah. who have reached that state of consciousness <laughs> and they're trying to bring us along to understand it it. sounds a lot like heaven's and, gate right now <laughs> knock knock yeah. knock it all heaven's no yeah i don't know but like, i'm sorry <laughs> 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 yeah but like love is a dimension i've heard somebody say that i i mean so uh is this too far i out? think i think aliens <laughs> so have you there's a book called big magic and it says basically that like ideas or like thoughts are aliens and they are expressed through humans. So it's like a way of thinking about aliens that it's like, it's not this other thing that's like has uh, intelligence outside of humans. It's like aliens yeah. and humans together are like the human experience kind of, mm -hmm. which is more wow. of like kind of what I believe. Cause it's just like, yeah, where do the, like, where does this dick joke come from? You know, <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> or like you know whatever. Or like how do you think of that? Like yeah. where to go? Yeah. yeah. Like an idea kind of comes from like, you know, deep inside somewhere. Like it just or or it comes in and yeah. Do you and think there's you a? Stick, you grab. Is there like a conspiracy? Do you think with some people who become famous? Like I feel like sometimes it's weird. You're like, why are they getting all the yeah. popularity? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And stuff. Especially yeah. when it's like a Kim Kardashian or like a. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of someone else that's like, um, like inexplicably famous. Like there's no reason for it, but they're just yeah. Pete Davidson. Yeah. Well, I mean, I lot. hate Pete Davidson. <laughs> you hate him? Yeah, because he gets all the women. That's why. But so it's jealousy. <laughs> yeah. I recently, uh, well, liked Matt Rife after. The Whoa. new, the new six-year-old thing. You heard it here first. All Dude, well, this is an ex <laughs> Well, I, I, I like didn't like his comedy clips and like women giving him presents. It's so yeah. weird. That's right. just like, what is this? Yeah. Like, right. But then like, uh, this some, what well, like some like six-year-old kid. Do you know you like? Well, the headlines like Matt Rife roasts a six-year-old. And then everyone's like, fuck this guy for doing that. But the six-year-old can go fuck himself, dude. Yeah. <laughs> what did the six-year-old do? It's like, it, well, it's like his mom is like a lame influencer, whatever. And the six-year-old okay. posts a video that's like, it's like, uh, so, some like, I forget what he says at first, but he's like, yeah, you're mean and you're mean to women. And I'm like... <laughs> No, he's you're no. six yeah i'm like he's just telling bad jokes he's not and yeah matt rife's not a mean person no and then but like not. yeah then uh, like then like the mom is well then like he like went back and it says something like your mom is on only like makes all her money from only fans and then the mom is like you don't insult my child and then saying like oh he is mean and stuff and I'm like, who's this lady? And who's this lame kid? <laughs> is, it, <laughs> like, is it the Bobby Lehoff woman? That's not. <laughs> oh, no. She's like the podcaster. Yeah. No, not her. This I is hate funny. her for some reason. <laughs> I'm like, she's. Yeah, she's weird. She's weird as fuck. She Who just. Is she's like this woman that's like has a podcast now where she like interviews like she interviewed um, John Mulaney was mm. her first interview, I think. Wow. Or good guess. She and like really good gets. That's yeah. like her yeah. thing. And then like she's... Oh, is she really quiet and small and Yeah, hot? yeah. I think I like her. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> she's hot, dude. Um, well, she's really Does she have Shaq awkward. on Awkward. Yeah. Or, or yeah. That's like the thing. That's like the, the appeal to the show, the shtick. I yeah, guess, it's like really yeah. like cringy. Yeah, yeah she yeah. like... It, it, I don't know. I'm but just she's like, hot, so she gets away with it. I don't give a fuck. But she's hot, yeah. Dude. It's pretty average, I feel yeah. like. Yeah, she's <laughs> not like. Know. She also got. <laughs> apparently, she got like work done recently, and then she did like this, like, oh, I'm being vulnerable, showing how bad it looks. And I'm like, sounds like you're just a fucking idiot. <laughs> 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 sounds like you're just a fucking idiot that. I think she sounds really brave. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Look at David finally looking out for women for once in his life. Yeah, she's hot. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Um,. Want to go back to the questions? Yeah. Sure. 
I feel like there's a chance. You have no idea who this person is. <laughs> <laughs> talking about. I'm guessing. I think I know. Is, is she really petite? She's really small. Yeah. Yeah, I think I know. I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Did your uh, mom ever physically punish you? Uh, no, not physically. No. Just emotionally. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, yeah, I guess like punishments. You know, right. I, like time out. Yeah, yeah, like. Lock in the closet and stuff. Damn. What? You locked you in the closet? Locked in the closet is kind of wild. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I was like, I had enough space in there. To <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> defending yeah. your mom for. <laughs> 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 Do you remember how she said it? Like, get, in, get in the closet. Yeah, Stay like, in there until you're 27. What did you do to get still in there? What did you do to get locked in the closet? Uh. One specific, well, yeah, there were, I mean, it was a handful of times. One time I remember I, what didn't, uh, I have to practice violin every day. And oh. yeah, I, well, one day my parents went out and then, uh, well, the, my neighbor was over and they came home and we were playing video games and like, my mom just did the math and she's just like, all right, we were out for like 45 minutes. You're supposed to do violin for an hour. Like Tim's here. Like there, she's like, there's no way you practice. Right. Uh-huh. And then like she got out of me and then she's like, he has to go home. And I was like super mad. And, and uh, so he like leaves and, uh, and then bitch. I, yeah, I, the front, <laughs> our front door, like hat, it was like a big window and I slam it and the window just shatters. Oh, and then no. I remember it shatters and I'm like, oh, geez. oh and I, then dude. they like started to yell. I just ran into the closet. You're like, oh. I know what's <laughs> coming. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Yeah. Oh man! But yeah, yeah that's I remember, true. There yeah. has to be an escalation. That's not that. The right. glass breaking was crazy. <laughs> I remember being like, "Oh no!" <laughs> it was a, s- oh, yeah. a symbol for the oh. relationship between you and your mom. You're like, yeah. "I've betrayed her trust <laughs> one too many times." Just drops when that happens when you know you're in fucking trouble, and it's like, "Yeah, yeah. damn." So. Have you ever got any bad punishments, Alexis? Uh, my mom was very anti spanking, but um, oh, that's my good. My stepdad, I remember, spanked me once, and they got in a big fight about it. Don't really remember it. Mm. Um, And then um, one of her boyfriends was, like, definitely, like, manipulative and emotionally abusive. Um, But Towards you? Towards her. Mm. And then, like, he would just, like, say crazy shit. But... He, you know, he never touched me that I can remember. And, uh, great. Yeah. Sounds great. I'm fine. <laughs> Sounds like good. I remember when, <laughs> when we left his. <laughs> <laughs> no, you go. No, uh, so, so the answer is like maybe spanked once. Yeah. Like Probably should have been spanked more. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, sp- stepdad spanked. And then, uh, I remember <laughs> when, my mom like drained her 401k when she was with this dude named Michael <gasps> and uh, we we left eventually like I don't remember which straw broke the camel's back but basically she was like she came home and she was like get pack all your stuff into like one bag and I was like all right <laughs> <laughs> okay and then uh, and then packed the bag got in what we called the little red rooster which was this like red truck that we had okay. or whatever and uh we were leaving and as we were leaving uh he like punched the back window out <gasps> so he <sighs> was a cool guy <laughs> yeah, the most traumatic scene i'm picturing like yeah. breaking bad i don't know if you remember the scene in the end of breaking bad do you remember have you seen breaking bad yeah uh, when oh Walt when Jesse's. steals the daughter from and oh, in the right. truck yeah and she's like right. Walt, don't take my baby right yeah <laughs> It was like, like and she's like in the street crying and like she's got blood on her. Oh my gosh! It was like yeah. on this house in Timminsville. This explains a lot. Which is like <laughs> he had like horses and shit, so it was like three acres of land, a house, mm-hmm. horse shit or whatever, and then we're just like speeding off down the long driveway. Oh my gosh! Wow. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Yeah. That sounds awful. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, only spanked once, so. <laughs> 
I didn't even have a bad childhood. <laughs> yeah. You had three horses? Yeah. I got to ride a, a horse? Bit. Yeah. <laughs> Michael wasn't all bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> horses. Yeah. Push out the window with your horses. Yeah. I, uh, he was a good guy. Good guy. <laughs> One time, I don't remember what I did with my grandma. Um, very religious woman, and she got to gotta do the corporal punishment thing. She uh, 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 held me over the sink in the guest bathroom and uh, washed my mouth out with uh, hand uh, soap. Oh, jeez. Yeah. I like remember looking into the mirror being like, <laughs> It's like a Christmas story. Oh, well, that's a bar of soap, but yeah. My parents would always reference that, but I never got Threatened. it. Oh, yeah, I yeah. washed your mouth out with soap. Yeah. 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 My I grandma got actually threat. did it one time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty traumatic in hindsight. No, I don't know. Yeah. It's weird how your brain will form memories around those little things. like that are. Yeah, yeah. My grandma had a red yardstick, and she would always like threaten to be like, Go get go get the red yardstick, but she never hit me. She hit all of my cousins, but never hit me. Oh, nice. oh, She's okay. dead. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cla- like the nuns hit with rulers. Mm-hmm. But you were you you were super Christian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like uh, West oh, Michigan okay. Christian, uh, Christian Reformed, e- evangelical, Baptist, evangelical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you didn't yeah. want to hit the kid too hard so that he still spread the message of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they, they were all Dutch. <laughs> it was in the balance. It was like yeah. <laughs> where my family w- came up from was uh, West Michigan, which was like a Dutch settlement. So all the, like a lot of Dutch people moved there. And uh, uh-huh. there was a lot of like, like my grandma's father, my great grandfather was a, a minister. Mm. And uh, so she was a preacher's daughter and everything. So yeah, they were very strict with that stuff. I remember one time mm. I really pissed my grandma off. <laughs> What'd you do? <laughs> well, uh, she, we were over there for Sunday dinner, and she was making something I didn't like. I hated eating meat for some reason. It was like pot roast or <laughs> something. Wonder what that means. Really <laughs> 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 I was sexually repressed. Here. I couldn't eat anything penis shaped. <laughs> no. but it was like pot roast, and I hated it. And I like kind of like I, I guess I maybe threw a tantrum or something. So she locked me in her room, and I was so mad that she locked me in her room that she had this antique armoire, and I went in her purse and got a nail file and carved the shit out of the armoire. Oh, oh. shit, I was just, like, dude. packing it up like a serial killer. And then, <laughs> she, and then she came and found... And I, then I was, like, realized what I had done, and I was like, oh. <laughs> but there's no... So I just, like, pretended like I didn't do anything, and then they found it all fucked up, and... <laughs> Yeah, they freaked out. And you don't believe in ghosts, so you couldn't even blame it on, like, um, no. David's <laughs> ghost? <laughs> I should have. Man. And then they made me drain my life savings, which was $20, to get it fixed. And ah. It didn't cover it, but. So you get PTSD every time you watch that episode where Elaine is trying to get the armoire. <laughs> 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 exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it probably looked like that. It was like a dresser <laughs> thing. I don't even know what an armoire is, to be honest. Yeah, it's like a dresser. Is it like a? F- is the armoire have to be a full size dresser that like opens? Uh, th- yeah, a it's a wardrobe. Yeah, Why, like which a, the wardrobe? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it wasn't an armoire. It was just a dresser. It was really nice. It has to be a village inside with talking yes. lions right, right, and right. a half goat, half man guy. Right. Yeah. Tit Tithus. What's his name? Mr. Tumnus. Tumnus. Yeah, Tumnus. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that guy we played pool with? Yes. Uh, I have no well, idea what his name was is. Was he a half man, half goat? <laughs> Dude, he was the <laughs> shit. He was Bangladeshi, I think. Wasn't he? We he was know. brown. Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 Alexis is brown. Yeah. He was uh, He was the shit. We played pool with this guy after aggressively chill on uh, Tuesday. And uh, he was... He reminded me of the guy of office from Office Space. Do you remember? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, like that <laughs> nationality. Right. And... Uh, <laughs> and every time he messed up, he would be like, "Fuck, mother ass!" <laughs> <I'm cool. laughs> yeah. We just met him, and he was so aggressively like competitive. It was so funny, yeah. and we like bonded throughout the night. He was really, he was a cool, dude. Yeah, he was cool. Uh, t- t- uh, Tanush, t- I don't. You know? <laughs> Playing pool in bars sucks when there's like people walking around. And, yeah, uh, I, j- I need my own room. <laughs> Are you good at pool? <laughs> to, I, I'm decent. Yeah, I, I play a good amount. Okay. Hell oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a fun thing to do in you New know York. Who the pool shark is Alexis. Oh really? I grew up in bars. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, cool. 
I like pool. Pool's awesome. Yeah. yeah. It's like uh it's a good like you can just shit talk. Mm-hmm. But it's not like everyone knows it's like Who won pool. the game between um us and you guys? David. Oh. David's so team won. You're the shark. Show about the cool shots I had. They were bad. <laughs> <laughs> they were all lucky shots. Lucky. Right. No, we were focused in. Ran the table. Uh, we were he came back. Table. We were winning. Yeah. And then and then he came back and, and got like three in a row. And we were like, <laughs> no. Yeah, that uh, was fun. Though. Everything is riding on this one game of pool. Everything is awesome. If you had to but describe yeah. your inner being in 14 words, <laughs> <laughs> what... I, what would that sentence be? Can you guess what who came up with this question? <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're all so weird. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what, what does that mean, my inner being? Yeah. Or like... I don't know. What does that mean? <laughs> I mean, so like, you got the outside of like, I'm Alden Skeetis. I, you know, I do all this stuff. But, like, on the inside that you don't let people see all the time, if you had to describe it in 14 words. Exactly 14. Or 13 or 12. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, we'll cut out I'm trying to do the math of the <laughs> words. <laughs> <laughs> or it could be however many words you we'll want. We'll count them. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Some sentence along the line of, like, well, because, like, I feel like I'm chill on the outside, but it's a... Uh, all right, that's is, 14. I mean, <laughs> yeah, this is all right, good job. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> do that. <laughs> that was a good one. But something about like you know, it's still like a a roller coaster in my head of like like bad thoughts, but it's like no, it's all good, and then blah blah blah. But yeah. Yeah. like on the outside, I feel like I keep it cool. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I I have the racing. You do mind thing. You do okay. Yeah. So like it's Stuff. it's like uh, is it does it feel like chaotic weather your your thoughts that's how my thoughts feel sometimes like it's it's like weather oh but like oh like a rainstorm going everywhere yeah like oh, it, like, that's it, like, cool. it, like it well this is how I want it to feel I want it to feel like weather I want it to feel like you know the ups and downs are just temporary but like underneath there's still something solid and I'm trying to figure out what the solid thing is. That's what I want to see. That's also something mm-hmm. Jim Carrey said in, the, in an interview. <coughs> uh, he said he doesn't have depression. Like, happy, I have happiness, sadness, like, love, whatever. But it's all just weather. And, like, deep down, he's just, like, whatever. Yeah. Peaceful. Yeah, mine's all over the place. Yeah, I try to stay. Yeah, try, try to stay happy. Homeostasis. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, it's annoying with the mi- when... I don't know, sometimes you get mad at someone, then, like, that same day, you're like, I'm not even mad at them anymore. Or, like, yeah. <laughs> it's just so dumb I sometimes. Feel, <laughs> I feel like um, mental health has gotten so, like, big or whatever. Like, it's very commonplace to talk about now. You know, when, like, it used to be, like, if a man cries, that means he's gay. Means but he's But now it's, like, oh, like, we, like, people talk through their emotions so much that almost it feels like sometimes like people are talking too much through their emotions and I'm like overthinking it. Yeah. I'm just like, maybe, maybe just like go like sit with these feelings and Mm -hmm. then like figure it out and then, and then have a good conversation about what you're feeling inside. Cause sometimes it feels like some people are just like talking out of their ass and I'm like, Mm. what? I don't think you had 17 revelations in the past 30 minutes. Like, it's... <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> You're just rambling. So, uh, I... Uh, well, this was, it was Stephen Wright, you know, the comedian. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. On uh, Joe Rogan. He Well, yeah, Stephen Wright's the man. He's yeah, just, like, dude. lives in the woods and shit. Does and he? Hell yeah. He, right now he does? Like, yeah, northern Massachusetts and stuff. Hell yeah. And just does his, like, stand-up shows for his audience and then... Just chills. He tours and, and then that's his home base, kind of. Yeah, Got he it. he loves biking and shit. Yeah. And, uh, that's cool. Yeah, but yeah, he was saying, which I like, is he's like he's like now that he's older. He's like I'm not really 
I was trying to get more intelligent. I'm trying to like be more meditative or like trying to have less thoughts. Yeah. Or like, and I kind of feel that. And because, yeah, it's when you're like, I don't know, maybe like scrolling a bunch on your phone and looking at stuff on the train. Yeah. Like at the end of the train ride, it's like, what did you really learn? But if you like, maybe like put on a good album and then totally like uh meditate and yeah. just like all you're doing is just sitting there with like nothing but just listening to an album yeah like that's feels better that's nicer but but then like it's hard to not have the thoughts of like oh let me look at this or let me uh fuck this blah 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 right but yeah i'm yeah trying to get more meditative i loved your reel by the way it was oh. 24 hours in the life uh, of a comic. <laughs> Click on all the Instagram. Yes. It was like, uh, first yeah. I wake up and I scroll Instagram reels for three hours. <laughs> and then I go to my living room and I go YouTube short. <laughs> Spoilers. Yeah. I just said the first two lines, I think. but uh, That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> that's a well, I can't believe you. See, you. Wait, wait till you see all the <laughs> Spoiled it. <laughs> it's a reel. Yeah. It's supposed to be shared and, you know, yeah. or whatever. Um, keep it real. But... Yeah, do you feel like the, I don't just like, like, maybe like you're super smart, but sometimes it sucks to just be like thinking all the time and it's nice to just, and like you can have more like, I was like, like I, I saw this, the Led Zeppelin thing, you yeah, know, and my like, poster. yeah, one time when I, well, my favorite's their second album and like I was listening on the train and it was like I, I was able to get into that like meditative state. Like and a then, flow state? Yeah, yeah. And I like really heard John Paul Jones, like the bass lines for the first mm. time. And I was like, damn, I didn't. I mm. mean, yeah, obviously, like Jimmy Page on the guitar. Like I've yeah. known his. But then I was like, whoa, I never really heard those bass lines. Yeah. And then that was like. Yeah. yeah. And now that's like a new thing I learned just from being kind of still made it met still yeah, yeah. do you yeah. you uh yeah. get into gary shandling at all Ooh, yeah watch this documentary have you seen He's the zen awesome. diaries of gary shandling on hbo no is that judd apatow me yeah. yes it's after a must apatow. watch okay. after he died yeah. it's very powerful there's a lot of interviews with famous comedians about gary and how complex he was uh he was big into meditating too okay the childhood tragedy that kind of shaped his comedy he had a brother that passed away when he was very young and he is like <coughs> bless you very Thank spiritual you. when it comes to stand-up oh and cool. kind of in the meditative stuff mm-hmm. far eastern things and he believed in the value of like authenticity above all else and being your true self and that's what he felt stand-up was um helping him discover was him his true self Oh, okay. So, like, by, like, talking it out on stage or, or just right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I, guess, I think because the audience teaches you, like, when you do really well, it's like tell, their response is a signal to you that you're being your real self. And uh, I think. Did I have that right, Alexis? Eh. <laughs> 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 I just think yeah. that it's, like, I think it is, like, social media and all this internet shit like it just it it's it changed how our brains work i think and so i you know i got a flip phone and i'm mm-hmm. i'm trying to like microdose the internet because it's like i obviously do want to keep learning stuff yeah but i think that it's not good to like constantly just have information coming in which is basically what the internet is chaos yeah and it's hard to even get to a place where you can like be meditative Mm -hmm. when you have that like at your fingertips all the time and it's like yeah self-control is a thing but it's also like if everyone around you is like not practicing self-control it's even twelve thousand times harder to have that like mm-hmm. okay i'm going to sit here and listen to an album instead of like getting caught up in like oh 
<laughs> Ethan Mead posted a reel. I need to post one too. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I'm, I'm Ethan Mead. I'm bald. <laughs> no, I'm just I love Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was funny roasts about him at that show. Yeah. Um, one of the things but I'm trying to do to s- to keep sanity is micro routines of like, okay, just going to bed at a decent hour, waking up at a regular Ew. time, making my bed. I'm trying to like and cleaning my car. Just like basic shit. Not the apartment, like, though. You, I can forget about <laughs> living in New York. Not the apartment, no. <laughs> maybe you could do the apartment. <laughs> <laughs> the roommate says maybe you yeah. clean the apartment. That's one of those things. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not good at like deep. I'm not good at like vacuuming and dusting and stuff. Like that's that's yours. That's you. That's your talent. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dig this hole a little deeper. <laughs> Come on. But I, I feel like when I when I moved when we moved here first, like it was chaos in terms of like forgetting all that shit. Like because like nothing's scheduled, nothing's mm-hmm. like like your routine is shot. And I'm like trying to get back into like because one day this week I went to bed early and I got up. I was like, holy shit, is this how normal people feel all the time? Yeah, I. <laughs> And just like getting up and being productive, doing a thing like I know. Yeah, I I don't in the morning. Yeah, I stay out and wake like stay out and go to bed late. But when I do wake up in the morning, the morning is the best. Yes. Yes. (laughs) Oh, my God. You feel like like superior to other people. You're like, yeah, a bunch of shitheads. Yeah. Oh, and you have a full night of sleep and you're up at like 730. It's like, Whoa, this is great. Yeah, I have oh. a 401k. Yeah. Suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> just happened. It's 7 a.m. and I'm not poor anymore. <laughs> looks like the stocks are up, fellas. Yeah. <laughs> Mark's not even open yet. There's a stock just called your name just going up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Huh. And yeah, the morning is really yeah, nice. nice. But Let's go out and get a coffee. And yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. Good. But staying staying up late is it's just What's your gonna happen. Uh, like oh, two a.m. Jesus, me yeah. too. Yeah. yeah, me too. If I'm, I'm a three four two, girl, I'm, I'm kind of like this is good. One thirty. Yeah, I'm yeah. Not a piece of shit. Yeah, but I yeah I, don't, I usually get home at like midnight or something, and then you gotta have the yeah. the like little like vacation from the day at the oh, end of the day. Totally, that's my favorite part. It's like you get home and then you're like, all right, now time to decompress <laughs> from all that stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can watch like TV, like sitcoms and stuff at like one a.m. Yeah, and not. And don't give a fuck about my phone. Like, I'll just be in the other room and stuff. Yeah. But you can just sit yeah. there and watch it. Well, I like 1 a.m. Like, yeah. if it's like midday, I can't just watch like yeah. Yeah. a TV show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I, I got, I'm like, I, yeah, I gotta be. I had a, pre- but I can just look at my phone midday, which is not yeah. productive. But, it's the same yeah. thing a little bit. Like, but, TV and phone. Yeah. But I, I really like the, uh, at the end of the day, yeah, I I, don't, I always feel like this is bad when I'm scrolling stuff. But like, if I'm just sitting and just like Seinfeld or Frasier or yeah, whatever, Frasier. Yeah. I love Frasier. You got to get yeah. into Frasier, like yeah, yeah, Frasier is funny. Okay, <laughs> oh right. my god! But I love yeah, just sitting and like just watching a show is so nice, dude. That's cool. And like all your focus is just on yeah the on the show. Yeah, I'm, isn't it crazy that like. I don't know. I feel like that used to be like just normal. But like I recently was able to do it. Last Saturday I decided to do nothing and I watched a Family Guy marathon. I was just I then it moved. I literally you came home, you're like, What did you do today? I was like, nothing. I feel like you're judging me, but No. <laughs> well, like, did you look at your phone while or you're just no, wa- Yeah, I that was able to do it and I was proud yeah. of my, how sad it was. I was proud of myself <laughs> for being able to just sit there and watch Family Guy. Without feeling the need, and I was just like, I'm, I'm not doing anything. I'm not gonna feel bad about it. But that that's kind of rare now. I feel like to binge e, stuff, yeah. even because it's like you have to sit and do nothing for that long. Like the ADD kicking in. Yeah, at the end of the day, I was saying, yeah, I can do that. But yeah, I, I like the feeling of so, like the phone makes me not feel good. I don't. Maybe mm-hmm. it's like the small screen and the yeah. bright. Or and something. blue light. TV's definitely yeah. better. You know. Yeah. T- at I least mean, it's like a story you're following. There's yeah. Like, you're letting yourself enjoy it. Yeah, it's great. I love just 
Yeah. We've been watching movies lately, too, and getting that effect of just sitting there watching movies. Yeah. What's your favorite um, movie of all time? Uh, I like Top three. Uh, I like One Flew Over to Cuckoo's Nest. Ooh. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Jack Nichols. Yeah. Son. Nicholas Son. <laughs> <laughs> Nicholas son. <laughs> yeah, that's his name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that one. Then I like Spirited Away. Oh, know, hell the, yeah. The Japanese one. Damn it. I don't know um, that one. It's, it's like, like Studio Ghibli. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Studio so Ghibli, of course. Remember that Still movie that I had <laughs> on the TV the other day? It's like Japanese the animation. The fairies. Oh, yeah. It's like that. Can you explain to me why anime is good? I, I don't <laughs> really like anime. I just like Studio Ghibli, which is definitely different. And Hayao Miyazaki hates anime. He's like, what is this weird yeah, shit? That's, the <laughs> that's how I feel. Uh, yeah. But Studio yeah. Ghibli is like the best. It's like much better than Disney, but it's like the Disney of Japan. Like the movies yeah. are really. Like the quality of the like, animation is much better? Uh, the story yeah. and story. stuff and the character and. It's like always like emotional and like it'll make you very, cry. Mm. Yeah, and yeah, it's not silly, but it's so good. And they also yeah. can like show like really like sad, dark things, but because it's a cartoon, it's not as like jarring. Is it better yeah. than Batman and that we watched? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, we uh, watched like an animated Batman movie the other day. Oh, okay, Nana. It was okay, <laughs> but I was like, yeah. <laughs> it was like the cartoons kind of in the, the in the 90s remember batman on the wb like the killing e- joke oh yeah 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 i think that's yeah it's probably pretty lame yeah uh but yeah like christopher nolan dark knight is awesome fuck yes that's yeah i hate christopher so nolan. <laughs> 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 um kit, kit sent me a reel of like uh the dark knight you know the scene where um uh, it's like uh, Bane and Batman and then the Raj Ghul's daughter. Mm-hmm. And it's like that scene, but it's really sexed up. <laughs> like, <laughs> like it's, it's like a parody of like them talking and then him being like, oh, like <laughs> she's she's the one that was that ex- escaped the child that escaped from the hole or yeah, whatever. Yeah. And then. Is I, is I can't didn't she remember. just like stab him and he's like, oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was funny. <laughs> Did she make a joke about it? Oh, you don't want to do it? I Go ahead and do it. I, uh, <laughs> I can't remember the words, so I'm like, I'm going to fuck mm, it up. How to taste really seals in the flavor. Didn't he say something like that? Or sad. I don't know. <laughs> God, I, don't okay, know. Never mind. I have no idea. I can't do it either. I don't know. So anyway, look that up if you want to. Yeah, it's on Instagram somewhere yeah. on Instagram. Yeah, you can't really look up a reel. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, get on that. Hey Zuck. Zuck. hey Zuck, at yeah. Zuck on why isn't Instagram. There hashtag searchable reels. Yeah. Also, why isn't there? I there's no help center. I got hacked once, oh, and shit. I I went through a bunch of shit and got my account back, but there's no help there's center. There's no customer service. Yeah, for it's crazy. Instagram. Cra- Instagram and Facebook, like the yeah. biggest company in the world. It's like some what they're fucking doing something sketchy oh for sure there's no help center yeah and like but you can buy a blue badge like it's yeah and people like make their money from their instagram it'd be hard to have a help center that supports that many people though i guess like yeah billions of accounts (laughs) it is like like i mean two people in a room like it would create jobs that's a funny sketch idea the instagram help center yeah (laughs) it's like jesus there's a billion (laughs) calls today i'm not gonna get to all these (laughs) <laughs> the call waiting times like a year. Yes, this is Instagram. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> Some guy from India. Yeah, <laughs> help wow. center, help right? That's <laughs> this is Instagram. I don't compete Instagram. How can I serve you? There you go. There you go. Is that good? I don't do accents. That was better. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> if um, you had to describe your personality with an animal, what would it be? Uh, Sloth, <laughs> like Sid the Sloth from Ice Age. Yeah, Sid's pretty funny. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, sloths are hilarious because they're like, actually, I don't want anything to eat except eucalyptus. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> they just, I, I do love eucalyptus, and they all have chlamydia. That I also, yep, yep. You also <laughs> they're like all over my body. <laughs> 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 
I had right? it in high school. Thank yeah, you very much. I had it when I was in. Take an antibiotic; it goes away quick. Yeah, yeah. it's no big deal. It's Chlamydia. either one or two pills. There's like yeah. two different things. Chlamydia, gonorrhea, syphilis, syphilis, or, 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 all curable. Or, oh, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, what are we listing? <laughs> We're just listing. <laughs> We're listing STDs. all the diseases Small we cox. have. Smallpox. <laughs> Smallpox. Smallpox. <laughs> Smallpox. Yeah. Oh, stuck with it for life. Yeah, that's a life. I've seen ads. Yeah. Looks oh, cute. yeah. Yeah. The, the elephant pills. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Might be curable. I would yeah. be. An, I'm an alligator <laughs> for sure. The alligator pills? Or, oh, no, oh, I'm an alligator. A, oh, as a. If I had to uh, pick an animal. Those are pretty mean. <laughs> no, no. They're dinosaurs. <laughs> and they're cool. Yeah. And if you know how to be around <laughs> them, then it's actually you could be Steve Irwin. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. he he had a connection well, with the al- all the alligators and the crocodiles and the reptiles. Not that good one. They're mad. They the stingrays didn't like them. <laughs> them. Yeah, they didn't like them. They had a fight or something. I guess. But yeah. 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 I don't really know alligator personality. It's just. I mean, it. It's not their fault. They let. Li- they'll eat humans. <laughs> yeah. Because like. They're just. Yeah. They're just hungry. They're just like walking around doing the death roll. You guys know about the death roll? Yeah, I do know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. Mm. Death oh. roll's sick. Yeah. <laughs> death that's, roll. Death roll records. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, David. <laughs> exactly like death roll records. The alligator <laughs> death roll. <and laughs> An alligator, <laughs> alligator with a chain <laughs> on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you think those uh, ads for dick pills on porn sites work? Uh, no. <laughs> Asking for a friend. <laughs> <coughs> There's a funny reel about this guy. He was doing a motivational speech at a sales company, and he's like, the average male dick size is six inches. The average dick size at my company is 7.3. It's <laughs> <laughs> so like if you're moving around with a small dick, what are you doing? Do you even watch porn, man? <laughs> <laughs> Look on any ad, they fucking work, man. They fucking work. <laughs> they they like, porn actors <laughs> are real <laughs> actors. Yes. Yeah. Support sex work. Um, One well, the ads is funny where it's like animated or <laughs> it's like it's like the dick's getting bigger. Yeah, like with the ruler. But then it like it like keeps repeating. It's like a boomerang. Where it's like, Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you That's watch porn? Uh, yeah, not as much as most people. I Good. feel. Well, I don't know how much. Well, I kind of have a sense when you talk to friends and stuff, and I'm like, I definitely watch less than yeah, I don't like, most. <laughs> yeah. like most of my friends. Because I, yeah. I don't need it. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Use yeah. your imagination. I can Memory do that. Yeah. Hell yeah. I can, I can do that. Yeah. yeah. I don't watch porn at all. Good. I think that's you kind of like it. more normal. Shut up. <laughs> I'm being vulnerable and real right now. Sorry. I'm can't sorry. can't I'm respond a, to I'm your riff. I'm in a weird mood today. I don't know how this is going <laughs> <up>. <laughs> uh, Yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's... I tried to watch it like multiple times, but it just isn't like... I don't know. Mm. I remember fine well like in high school it was just all the time but like yeah. I remember finding out girls didn't watch it all the time but like this girl was like oh that's weird and I was like so shocked yeah, <laughs> yeah. you're like wait <laughs> like, you what? guys aren't spending six hours after you get off school and- yeah <laughs> I was like, what are you, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? You yeah. Yeah. That's, that was a funny moment. <laughs> finding out girls don't watch porn all the time. I was like, really? Some girls a do. A lot of girls do watch Yeah. It. Some girls are like super into it now, which is like great. Sex positivity. Love that. You know? I met a girl once who said she watches uh, ethically responsible porn. Um, where it was like. What a cuck. It was, <laughs> it was uh, women. Women. Produced. Being intimate. Women produced. So it wasn't like. Oh, interesting. From a guy's shitty perspective of, I don't want to say. Yeah, it's these, a yeah, hole. These three the basic things. This slut. Or whatever. Yeah, what, yeah, what, yeah. Is, what happens yeah. in that? Or It was kind know, of like yeah. a little bit more like, you know how porn used to be where there was like a storyline? And not there wasn't really a storyline, but it was more like there was dialogue between the women. What was the, the first women. porn? And uh, yeah. first porn I ever saw. Yeah, or like what was like. Because you said it has a story. Like, what do you mean, like... Old porn, like, from the 80s, 90s, or maybe earlier, there would be, like, a, a storyline. 
It would be like a really shitty movie. Like Pizza Boy I came suppose. or something like that. Yeah. Or like, th- and there'd be music and like. Right, yeah. It's more of an so. ensemble. Candle, candlelight and it would be like, there'd be degrees of it. It wouldn't be like you saw everything. It would be like softcore porn where you just see the woman topless maybe mm. and you wouldn't see the genitals. Well, now so it's is all that genitals. that yeah. was in the ethical one also? Oh no, something? not all that. No, you saw everything. Right. You saw everything. But it, it, it was, was like they, they were though, more like it wasn't like somebody getting like just pounded for no reason. It was like they would be like you know making love more so than just straight fucking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Gay. Classy. I didn't like it that much, but <laughs> <laughs> I need some more hardcore stuff. I need. <laughs> yeah. I still Tell us. <laughs> Do need a lead up and it like, like I do like foreplay <laughs> porn. Oh God! What? Like foreplay porn? Yeah. Or well, not. I mean, not even necessarily foreplay. Well, it's kind of going back to the like, not liking the punishment. Like when the girl is like super excited to get fucked. Yeah. I'm like. I'm like, like oh, all right, this we're is cool. Or you not? Like that or no? Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, but some <laughs> some yeah. videos just starts and they're doing doggy style. I'm like, what? Right. <laughs> I'm like, we're starting in the middle like, of the story, I'm, guys. I'm, this is I'm not. Lost. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, not even. <laughs> yeah, yeah, can't do that. I don't even know if this is consensual. <laughs> What's? Oh, this is a good one. What's <laughs> your most awkward sexual experience <laughs> that you feel comfortable sharing on the internet? Uh well, I've I've like, it was like the I've had like, accidentally bitten and stuff like and <laughs> still like that. You kinda. you've accidentally bitten or she's actually accidentally she bitten. Bit you? I, I have well like more than once where, well that that's like the worst that's got with with the like don't, do that type yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like Did she bite your lip or something <clears throat> or no I like I bit a lip. Oh, or did you accidentally bit. Yeah. A, bit of nipple yeah <laughs> <laughs> classic can take a little biting i heard mm. <laughs> women don't uh, let me just let you guys in no okay. they don't like that I yeah she didn't like it nipple. oh jeez. no especially yeah. if they have like pierced nipples don't do that well, they, they took the piercing Stabbed yeah right through that sucker yeah but that's not the same as biting right i had a guy like tear like my nipple piercing like oh. like hurt it to the oh. point where it was like very Sweet. painful and he was like what you're not into that you i thought you liked pain and i'm like <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh. it's painful when i hear your jokes <laughs> <laughs> that's the pain oh, was i it like comic? <laughs> of course this is recent this is when we got here oh jesus keep making references and like that's the pain i like keep mm. the yeah the bad jokes right yeah, yeah. not like actual <laughs> physical pain yeah mm. yeah don't be yeah. biting nipples alden yeah that's like the <laughs> where it like yeah because i say i'm i'm into the she's pleasured but the worst i've done i've accidentally bitten and they're like that is st- like hey. but it is an accident every time yeah it's just you know yeah of course yeah but I'm like, oh, my bad. <laughs> hey, my bad, player. Hey, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> hey, my bad. Hey, <laughs> I like Danny Fallon. Oh, uh, the dude, drug dude. drug dealer sketches. Dude, he's so funny. Yeah, dude. yeah. Yo, those you, are you good. different. Yo, my yeah. <laughs> Where you from? <laughs> Minnesota. Minnesota. Where'd that be? <laughs> oh, yeah. That was hilarious. <laughs> Which direction is that? Uh... That way? that way? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. And he runs away. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he different. <laughs> oh, God. He cracks my shit up with that. Uh, yeah. There's nothing hilarious. funnier than a white guy doing a black scent. <laughs> <laughs> my man. <laughs> Dude, we were at a show. He was oh. doing that before he went on. And I was just, I could not stop laughing. He was just like, Yo. She different. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah, I, I think he'd have to actually tell me something. Be like, yo, he different. <laughs> and then he went on and didn't do the character. I was like, fuck, Danny, do the character. Uh, <laughs> it's a good one. It's I so had good. this jo- joke. I, <laughs> I only, yeah, I don't, I don't care about saying it. Or I can say it, whatever. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you remember Aquafina, the Asian oh, yeah. girl, and 
It's like she got like canceled for doing black scent. Oh my god, or, what? Yes, yeah, she lost some maybe her show stopped or something, but like that was like yeah, it was like an article. It's like mm-hmm. aqua so yeah, my joke was, <laughs> I was like, uh, so you hear Aquafina just got canceled for doing black scent and all I got to say about that is, man, that shit crazy. <laughs> <laughs> People really don't like Aquafina, though. That's like a, I think, like a general don't consensus. Don't think it's like bad water? Like it's, it's no, 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 no. Like Aquafina is a rapper. She's an Asian female rapper. Oh, I thought we were talking about water bottles. No, dude. Okay. <laughs> Uh, anyway, she has a she has a very oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I think water. culturally <laughs> oh, relevant I'm song. Having, this Gen Z thing that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> you thought we were talking about water. <laughs> was it the water bottle <laughs> spokesman got canceled? Yeah, Deer Park was canceled. <laughs> you know <laughs> for the doing name? A Deer Park canceled. water. Oh oh yeah. Oh, I thought we're getting all mixed up now. Okay, I thought you knew the name of the CEO of Aquafina. Oh no, Deer uh, Park is another water. Uh, I was okay. doing a adjacent water got you being a black guy bit yes <laughs> good riff <laughs> but did you have something to say about asian rapper aquafina yeah asian rapper aquafina i feel like a lot of people hate her and like i really really love gucci gucci the song that is like her popular like yeah hit gucci or mean uh no gucci gucci louis louis fendi fendi prada then basic bitches wear that shit so i don't even bother you know you it's a hit it's a classic and and i don't know why like the the this general public turned on her but i stand with you aquafina no matter how many black cents you do (laughs) (laughs) yeah i'll stand with her all i gotta say is (laughs) <laughs> That's a good joke. Yeah. Alden, you're so funny. <laughs> he is actually funny. No, I know. Yeah. I mean it. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were <laughs> lying at first. <laughs> <laughs> Bullying Neither. David is one of my favorite things. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Yeah, Alexis is a whore. Uh, <laughs> I am. Oh my God. Thank you for noticing. I feel bad. Alden doesn't know we say that stuff to each other. <laughs> Oh, that I'm yeah, she's a she's a, a better bully than you. I'm you, a dumb slut. You yeah. Uh, like yeah, she just say, you say it and then you apologized immediately. Exactly. You, okay, I could say she's a straight face whore. Uh, that was a straight do face. It. That Can't was, do it. <laughs> that was that's the gayest the face I've ever fucking yes. seen. You're a smiling <laughs> the whole time you said whore. You're a whore. <laughs> God damn it! Not gonna work. Okay. At least. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not going to be mean. I changed my mind. Do you be mean? Yeah, I, I was going to be really mean. T- say it. All right, we we no. can move on. Yeah, we can move <laughs> I don't on. Know what's going on. <laughs> 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 I read Dostoevsky. Um, uh, what, is a f- uh, what is a friend red flag? Oh, um. What? Like, you're going to be friends with somebody, but then you're like, oh, wait, I probably shouldn't. Yeah, you're like, uh, this dude's weird. Or girl. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Would would that it can be... I mean, it's like... Yeah, it definitely happens with, like, new comics and stuff. We always are meeting people. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah but, yeah, in, in conversation, you can usually tell or... Yeah, yeah, there is a... I mean, a... Yeah, everyone just knows the vibe of someone who just sucks, you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you're like, oh, yeah, this guy. But um, I do, well, yeah, so there will be people, like, I'm already friends. With, sometimes I'll get mad at my friends when you start to realize, like, uh, a lot. Of, there's a lot of, you know, pretty much I'm more or less everyone is pretty selfish these days, I yeah. feel. Mm-hmm. And that annoys me sometimes. Cause, it's very. Yeah, I. I honestly f- feel like I I do stuff to like help people or to make people happy. Like I, I really I like like gift giving. That's like yeah. a really big thing I like doing. Yeah. And did you bring anything then today? I did actually. You I did? honestly yeah. You did? Oh my oh, god! I was just Merry with Christmas! Oh my god! For gosh, all did. Really you. good chocolate. Thank actually. you. It's not like Can normal I chocolate. Thank you so much, dude. <laughs> Thank you. I thought you were gonna say no, and I was gonna be no. That's that's so uh, nice. Yeah, I did. Oh but my god! Yeah, I, I want to eat I it mean, right now. 
It is very good uh, yeah. compared to Chop. But Fuck thanks, yes. man. Yeah, there's. I mean, I mean, there's. Yeah, people, and especially comics, just yeah. don't do anything unless it's gonna benefit them too. Right. Like a lot, and some like I'm already like friends with, and I'm like, I guess I'm just that's just how they are. But <laughs> the, know, yeah, narcissism like, is a vein of like yeah. comic, like. That's in every comic, but you could definitely tell, like, which ones are not as, like, blatant about it. Yeah. Yeah. With New York, though, I'm kind of starting to feel like everything is almost mutually beneficial. It's starting to seem that way. Like, because, you know, you see a lot of people, like, you do sketches, you know, or, like, yeah. if you do podcast interviews, like, what we're doing, this is fun. Yeah. Pretty fun, huh? This is pretty fun. Yeah. 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 And then oh, <laughs> do you need us to validate you that this is fun? <laughs> I mean, I know. Yeah. <laughs> No, okay. Um, <laughs> yes, it's fun. Yeah, <laughs> it's so fun. <laughs> or like hanging out at shows or getting asked to do each other's shows. As long as you're, you know, chill and funny. It's it's, it's like yeah. I can't think of stuff that's like totally selfish. But yeah, uh, well, yeah, well, well, sometimes, yeah, like I'll, yes, sometimes uh, when I'm hanging out at a show, it is, well, everyone knows it's like the, you could get a spot if you hang out more, but mm-hmm. right. there are like absolutely for me times where I'm just there because that's the only thing I have to do. Yeah, yeah and yeah, and 100%. that's the what people do. People go to bars. That's like what people do and right. the comedy show and people you know yeah. happen to be there. You might as well go. Like yeah, yeah I feel that. And sometimes like, when I go but, to a show, I like wouldn't even necessarily want to be at. Like I'm in a mode of like, you know. I just want to enjoy the show. Yeah. I'm legitimately there just to, you know. I think some yeah. comics like forget that they're fans of comedy and they get so into the like, oh, I'm I'm at work. I'm working. Uh, this is I'm working towards a goal. Yeah. And it's like, uh, do you remember the joy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I remember the joy. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the day. Back in the day. <laughs> but yeah, I, but some people, yeah, you can definitely tell. And it's Sometimes palpable. when, like, well, did you just you just produced your first show? Recently, We're gonna be or? Uh, January sixth. Yeah. Oh, first okay. Show, uh, down the yeah. So we gotta post that soon. Sometimes when like you're the producer, and, yeah, you could just tell or like, yeah, s- someone just comes up to you and I don't. know, You're just like you can tell they want to be on the show. That's yeah, why yeah. yeah. You're like this. You I can sense this is you right. like, totally. You don't like fair. that. You don't like that power mm-hmm. or. Uh, being the pro- oh oh having people yeah. come. I'm looking forward. I mean, to that. I'm looking forward to all the people coming up. No, yeah, no, I don't. Yeah, I that can't. is. I no, it, no, it's I'm fucking with you. No, it it's sucks joke. actually. It's That's yes. true. Yeah, I do. I I do like people like envying me sometimes, but I <laughs> know that. But nice. now that I'm thinking about it, uh, I for sure hate the. Let's say like. What's if, up, man? Yeah, or just oh, I'm thinking Whoa. like I'm like hosting my show I produce, and then like this guy's like lurking around next to me, and right. I'm like, like you're scheming for a guest spot. Like right. I'm just like <laughs> right. that that yeah that that I hate more than any than or like yeah like that the hate of that overpowers like people like the like of people liking me like yeah. i just, right. yeah I just, or, being, I, or like coming yeah. up to you and being like oh hey yeah, yeah i just yeah. uh that's the worst i'm like get out of here yeah. <laughs> like, fucking yeah. lurking for a guest spot right <laughs> yeah it's uh i don't like it i like don't get me wrong i want to see a woman in power more than i want a lot of things but like i i just hate the politics of all the bullshit that is like getting booked on shows that's like the oh damn <laughs> 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 it's <a> soundboard <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah alex thomas Ellie has a soundboard like, oh shit real talk <laughs> yeah <laughs> it does it does add it's it's a good yeah good podcast um, you should check it out check it out our episode should be out soon yeah but no. I, I just like that yeah. part of it. It just does not come natural. It's not like, yeah. like I like talking to people that are cool and fun to talk to. Like, I don't like being like, oh, how was your day? Oh, uh, da, ba, da, ba, ba. and I'm like, you don't care how my day was. I have met you four times. Like, mm-hmm. 
I don't know how to do that stuff. I think you can say it in a way that makes you feel sincere. Like, how was your day? It was good. <laughs> I have never had a bad <laughs> thought <laughs> in my entire life. <laughs> no. But you yeah, know what I mean? Totally. Like, that part I really wish didn't exist in like producing sh- a show. Like, yeah. I wish it was more like, yeah. I don't know. Dude, at my, uh, at my company, it exists so much. And uh, I remember, yeah. I <laughs> work for this company. I can't so remember all know. the shit that's been said on this podcast. <laughs> <That's what laughs> I work for. Ah, uh, yeah, block that out, maybe. <laughs> but there was this thing of like when you started, you started as like entry level out of college. There was a lot of young people who were like trying to get promoted and go into sales, and they would be like at meetings, and it was so obvious when you'd like go up to the manager and introducing yourself, and like, and it was definitely obvious when your motivations were like, you know, only that, and like. Yeah. But at the same time, some uh, of that's appreciated. Initiative is appreciated. Yeah. But like the schmoozing, you can tell the difference. You know it when you see it. Yeah. It's like, ah. Yeah. I'm the worst at, I, I don't know if it's <coughs> schmoozing or, um, or just, I'm thinking like a, talking to like a boss mm-hmm. person or just, if there's like a power dynamic type of thing, yeah, I'm yeah, I'm like so bad at the, or if it's well, like like my boss is like chill, right? Or it just mm-hmm. like yeah, it doesn't even seem like a boss, which is good. But like other situations where, well, there are also like managers who, mm-hmm. well, luckily my job I don't have to deal with them really. But if I ever had to go in and ask something to like the big manager who I don't know, I'm uh, just the awkwardness and like, uh, uh, I'm so bad at it. <laughs> yeah. And I will get psyched out. Yeah. And yeah. I was thinking one time I also, well, I met uh, this guy who like wrote like a show that I saw and it's mm-hmm. kind of like a bigger comedy guy. And okay. I don't, I, I just wanted to say, I liked the show and it was just like, Te- like I, I just terrible. Yeah. Like I was, was so the, was awkward. It a comic that you said it to? Uh, no, he's n- well. No, he's not like famous, but he like works with famous people and mm. like writes with yeah. famous people. But yeah. yeah, I just like had. Yeah, uh, he was just at the stand, and I was just like, oh, I want to like comp- say like I really like the show he wrote and stuff, but. I but just, it, then but, you get in your head of like, oh, he's just going to think I'm sucking up. But it's yeah. like, no, I really want to give you this compliment. Yeah, yeah. 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 I did that. Hey, dude, just I so love the bad. show. That was awesome. Great job. I did but, that. Yeah. There you go. I did that to Tim Dillon. I saw him uh. the other <laughs> week at the stand. And he like came out and I was like, all right, I'm a fucking... Sh- I'm going a, I'm to a say hello. <laughs> and, and I was just like... That was amazing, and then I s- and then I was like, I mean, horrible. <laughs> <laughs> you said that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Did> you <laughing? laughs> no, he's he was like, oh, like, um, what's your name? And I was like, Alexis. And he was like, he shook my hand, and he's like, nice to meet you. And then kept walking. And then as he was walking away, I was like, thanks for that uh, wonderful moment. Thanks for that <laughs> life changing moment. <laughs> and I'm just like being mean to him. And I'm like, I don't know how to like. Did, was he turn around and laugh? No, he didn't hear me. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I hope he didn't hear me. But um, <laughs> but he's like one of my idols. And I just like froze up because I'm just like, I don't want to say the wrong thing. Like, mm-hmm. I, you know, like mm-hmm. I don't want him to think I'm just one of these hot girls that gets booked on shows because they're hot. Mm. I'm just kidding. Do you think <laughs> that was a joke? <laughs> 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 just kidding you are hot <laughs> I, uh, ew <laughs> <laughs> um, do you want to ask the uh, third to last question we probably should wrap oh, up oh yeah God, it was just we probably should wrap up soon huh because yeah. we gotta go to this we're gonna go to a show if you want you want to go to a show sure do you have plans tonight uh, just to go to a show yeah oh which show are you going or, to or I don't know Oh, uh, which one are you? Claire's one. The uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Is that the one you were going to or a different Yeah. One? It was? was on the point. Shit, right. yeah. Hell we'll yeah. together. Oh, okay. car? Fuck yes. Yeah, dude. Amazing. Yeah, <laughs> he did, too. Uh, he did. Yeah. Um, so this is this is our 
uh, penultimate penultimate question? Is that second to last? Yes. Okay. Um, which comic do you hate most in the scene, and why is it Dave Namery? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know kidding. who that is. Oh, uh, good. Amazing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Suck yeah. it, Dave. Suck no one Dave. knows who you are, you fucking Jew-hating <laughs> Jew. <laughs> <laughs> Dave's a cool guy. Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I'm yeah. doing he's Christmas with him. Merry Christmas. He's a New York huh? He's Wait. Yeah, he's like from New Jersey, but he goes to the shop a lot. Oh, oh, he has, has a beard? A yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 He's yeah. not the one I hate the most. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know him. <laughs> um, it's a fake question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Why am I thinking? What <laughs> 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 should I say? <laughs> Why is it um, Stephen Wolf? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you guys are I, friends, right? <laughs> I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't really have. Why is it David them. Baker? <laughs> Why is it Alexis Ramirez? <laughs> Um, yeah, some comics I know like so well where it's yeah. like, yeah, ridi- like it's just you know, uh, like Steven's one of them, and yeah, Christian, and oh, yeah, Steve yeah. K. I've known forever, Steve K. And Dude, so, we gotta have Steve K. on the show, <laughs> yeah, but it's fun, like, just like the, yeah, like, well, yeah, they're, they're not the people I hate the most, now I'm saying, <laughs> right, <laughs> but, right, but like, it's just interesting, yeah, like, you love them so much right. that they come up in your brain first because you have. <laughs> knowledge <laughs> yeah just like <laughs> so much knowledge of like who they are yeah and stuff oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah well just yeah. like i don't know, just hang out like every day Wait, how, how, how long have you been in stuff. new york doing comedy uh, like four years oh, yes. yeah and how how long in total oh comedy yeah four years oh so you yeah. <laughs> yeah, Hell yeah yeah gotcha yeah four years yeah four years will be as funny as all of them <laughs> this could be a long <laughs> We got a if long still, way to go. Yeah, but yeah. It is, uh, I wish I could, like, do... I mean, it's like... I definitely had a... feel like at least three of the years I was really doing it a lot. But then, yeah, it's just like a confusing thing of, like, how to strategize and... Yeah. But yeah. Like and me, not overexert. But, yeah, like... Um, Jack Barth was telling me about Bill Hicks mm-hmm. in the 80s when... That was the that was the best. You just was like, uh, sign here and you're a comedian. Right. And then, all right, you get 30 minute shows every night because yeah. we need comedians. Or you're like in at the uh, clubs so immediately. Yeah. There's and like audiences all the time. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. So that, yeah, I mean. grind. There's a billion of us. And yeah. Like <laughs> and like trying to find stage time. It's like, I'm just trying to find the stage time to get good. It's exactly. Like, yeah. I, it's, yeah, it's, I hate like the. Mm-hmm. strategizing I think and stuff the new way of like getting the stage time is just producing your own show and then like just doing the slower <laughs> grind of of stage time because mm-hmm. like there are just so many places to be at comedy to do comedy yeah mm-hmm. I think so I'm excited about doing a show I think it's gonna be fun and yeah uh, I like fun. parking yeah I'm a big fan Yes, yeah, an excuse to just talk to people walking Yeah, by. exactly. <laughs> yeah. Because we, we did the comedy <laughs> shop show on Monday, and it was so fun. You guys did the one right after. You mm-hmm. said it was good. Like, that was... Uh, Alexis made me bark, which was nice. And uh, yep. at first, I thought it was humiliating, because Alexis was like, you have to do it, bitch. You know? <laughs> but, no, I'm just kidding. But it, it made me... <laughs> I don't know. Fuck, whatever. It made me, like... Uh, get out of my comfort zone earlier. Like by the time I had to do this, I was like, "Oh, I don't care now," because like it was right. awkward. Yeah, greeting people that didn't want to be greeted. Mm-hmm. So it helped me snap out of you know those pre-show jitters. Yeah, yes. yeah. That was a nice bonus. Plus, you feel like you know some of the audience if they come in. So it's like, oh, hey, what's up? Yeah. Yeah, but wouldn't that be? I mean, uh, I hate to be like, oh, it was better back in the day, but yeah, just like in that. Bill Hicks era is just like no phones or anything and True. you're just doing stand up and you're just a stand like oh man yeah. like it's just everyone is just in the world without technology yeah and you're just a stand up yeah oh man I I, so, I long so real so pure yeah. I long for like a uh, a total like wipe out of like the internet like I think 
like the movie we saw. Yes, dude. It, the have you seen the like trailer for Leave the World Behind, that new Netflix movie? No. It's basically yeah. like hackers like delete the internet. Like the it's internet like the and the grid crashes. like oh. goes away. Mm, I gotta watch. Not that. the grid. I'm I'm <coughs> fine with the grid existing, you know? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, let's keep the lights on and shit or whatever. But like just getting rid of the internet and just making people go back to like communities and like actual like people around you i think it would get rid of a lot of this uh <laughs> gender bullshit no i'm just kidding <laughs> but like <laughs> i think it would get rid of a lot of the problems that like have like become like massive like endemic problems because endemic. yeah what's i'm throwing mean? i'm throwing what's, words what's out there <laughs> it just means like a problem that like affects a lot of people i think right yeah it does okay Maybe Why are you trying to make me feel not <laughs> smart, dude? Come on. I was making a poignant uh, point. Yeah, work in the sentence. Poignant. What does that mean? <laughs> it means I'm going to fucking <laughs> stick a pencil in your dick hole if you don't let me finish I'm my thought. Kidding. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, that's true. But you know. Yeah. Because <laughs> I liked it when I was a kid. It was nice. Like when the power would go out or something and uh, yeah. you're around the candlelight and you're like, you know, weathering a storm or something. And you just <laughs> yeah, yeah. Looking yeah. at photos, yeah, yeah, Good old photos. I yeah. I miss when stand up meant something. <laughs> yeah, instead of time. instead of just like, oh, I'm a, <laughs> I'm in. I'm a <sighs> God, I hate stand up. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I hate fun. I I yeah. I hate someone going up with their phone and just yeah. I even hate like <laughs> the. <laughs> yeah, I just hate phones so much. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I, I, I even hate the somebody, like, for walks on stage and is like clicking the record thing. Like, I even hate like if their first second they have their phone, in their yeah, hand, <laughs> like, yeah. and like immediately <laughs> put it down. But yeah. like, I, yeah, phones just stink. Yeah. yeah, and I, and I see it like. I remember I saw like uh, a Mark Norman show and I was like looking like you know, just like weirdly like looking at him in the audience before he went up, you know, <laughs> I'm just like what staring at him. <laughs> was he on the phone? But, yeah, no. Yeah, that was the thing. He was just like fucking buried into the phone for like 30 minutes. Like, Dude. Just like man. Right, I man, saw Mark. Damn. I saw um, Louis J. Gomez and Rich Voss doing that same thing outside of the cutting room. Oh, yeah. And it's like, I, w I walked up, introduced myself, whole thing. I'm like a 25-year-old, like, young, naive girl. And they're just, like, look, share, share, showing each other a video on their phone. I'm like, I thought you guys were real comics. I thought you would <laughs> pounce on the opportunity <laughs> of, like, a real woman in front of you. But you're fucking showing each other some dumb video you saw or, you know? Yeah. Did it's you just say like that to him? No. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really care that much. They're both washed up fucking nah. I'm just kidding. They're fine. What but well, and my grandma's addicted to the iPhone. Too. It's like they yeah, got they got messed up Yeah, they got world. everyone. They got it's crazy. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> in their twilight years. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. My grandma is on Facebook all the time. It's like her new like gossip machine of like yeah. Seeing what everybody's doing when mm -hmm. it used to be like good gossip, you know, just the people that, you know, mm -hmm. and like being like, oh, this girl from church or whatever, you know, yep. like because I feel like good gossip. Well, yeah. I yeah, obviously gossip is always going to exist. Like, I think we talked about this on when Madison and I did your podcast in Greenville yeah. about how like women do that because of like, you know, berries there used to be like poisonous oh, berries yeah, and you had to uh, share that information women, yeah that's the fact women gossip because it's reputational warfare you want to make the other females in the in the tribe seem less fit to have children so you like talk shit about their promiscuity so they're like yeah that's why girls talk shit right because er, yeah kind of mm -hmm. yeah and they'll say it uh, vaguely okay. they'll say okay. it like i'm really worried about her yeah you know? Cause she's he, really like she's really oh, going to through a hard time, but that's other girl think. Oh, she has problems. Yeah, so that's, that's a, talking shit. That's yeah, what that means. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. When I heard this podcast episode, I was like, oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> women are diabolical. Women are <laughs> insane, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, I had no totally. idea that was going on. I'm not worried about any woman, honestly. I hate that type of gossip. <laughs> You're not. 
I I'm worried about three I think women. You might have some enemies. <laughs> I'm worried about three women, and you guys guess who they are. Hmm. I, I don't think I could. I don't Margaret think Thatcher? I know the. Oh, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was talking well. to the you guys oh, out oh. there. <laughs> <laughs> the audience. <Nobody. laughs> guess who I hate? Yeah. Well, we're gonna yeah. be late to the show, but uh, okay. You know, Alden. Was this good? Did you have yeah, fun? Yeah, I did good? have fun. Hell yes, yeah. thank you. Nice. No, was... Thanks for doing it, what, man. What's yeah. your chocolate? What's your What's your Instagram? Yeah, it's Old Skeeto Rhino. Old Skeeto. Uh, you can type in Alden, but it was A L D S K E E D O R H I N O. Fuck yes. I got sketches. Yeah, he's got Watch hella sketches. sketches, and yeah. they're cool. Mm-hmm. Oh, day cool. Yeah. Anything else? YouTube channel? Did you say that? Uh, yeah, same YouTube for YouTube. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Anything else you want people to subscribe to? TikTok? No, I don't really post there. I probably should, but just YouTube and okay. Instagram. Hell yeah. yeah. Tight. And you have a show? A yeah. Weekly or bi-weekly? Or uh, the next one's January 22nd. This is cool. the perfect length comedy show? Yeah, the Word. comedy shop, Greenwich Village. 167 Bleecker Street. True. Tight. Thank you. Tight. Yes. Tight, tight, tight. So, yeah. All right. Awesome. This is fun. All thanks, right. Thanks for doing it. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thanks thank for coming you, on thank the show. You, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for listening, everybody. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Once that day was done. Ain't got no more bows to run.